<laughs> now we're ready for questions. <laughs> Malachi, what uh, stands out to you about this Mississippi State offense y'all going up against Saturday? What stands they're going to throw you on play? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing is that they're playing their best ball. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, records and numbers can be deceiving. They're a really good team, very explosive, very well coached. Uh, you know, they're coming off a ball week, and I think their last two games they played their best ball. So they're coming into this week with a really good head of steam. So I think, you know, you got to watch out for a team. You know, like I said, they're really explosive, very well coached, and they got a good way for them. I've got a little bit of a two-pronged question here. I, I just, you know, last Saturday was crazy from the standpoint of, you know, three top ten teams all going mm -hmm. down to unranked opponents, that kind of stuff. Uh, so, A, uh, is that a cautionary tale for you guys, you know, in, in getting ready to play a game like this? B, though, I was curious, like, as players, you, you finally get done, your game's over, uh, and you're with your family or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you like – watch with intrigue that kind of stuff like I, I want to see what happened in that Alabama Vandy game you watch you know sports center highlight shows yeah. and, and that kind of stuff to kind of see what happened on every every Saturday yeah um I think uh, it's always it's always good to play an early game because you can go watch the games that's going on I think uh um after the game I had got home um and you know I, I rewatched it just because I wanted to see what was going on and you know what had happened um and I rewatched a, a bunch of other games too it's just it's funny to watch it because I can't really watch it as a fan anymore it's like it's kind of like I'm dissecting film all the time yeah um I mean but but it's really cool just to sit back and watch it and then you know it, it's you know you never want to under, underestimate anybody you know any any team can win on any, any given Saturday um any given weekend and I think you know if you come out with the right mindset and attack it um you know with the same mindset as you do every week I, I think you know it the rest will take care of itself Yeah, and then that Kirby was talking about you actually playing star a little more in games this year. Just what are what has allowed you to do that? And mentally, what is the, the biggest challenge of that rotating between safety and star in the middle? Yeah, of the game? Um, I think really just being able to know the defense, um, being able to move down and play star for a little bit um, while, while you know being at safety in the drive. And I think uh, you know just having the trust of the coaches and my teammates to being able to me put me at star. Um, I, I think that's huge. And I think the biggest thing is just kind of. You know, when I'm at Star, it's, I gotta think about like, it's kind of self, like saying to like, I just gotta think about Star. Like sometimes I catch myself thinking about safety and like, it mess me up while I'm at Star. Um, Cause when I'm at Star, I might have the same job, just in a different area while I'm at safety. So just kind of really thinking about where I'm at, being where my feet are really, and I think that's the biggest challenge. I guess just to follow up on that, how far do you think you've come so far this year in worrying about only, only Star versus worrying about safety? Yeah, um, I think, I mean, I think I've improved a lot, I think. You know, when you when you look at it, uh, going back to a fall camp, you know, I got I got a few reps and stuff, but you know, I was really had to think about what I was doing, and then you know, like during the game, they it was a third down, and they threw me in there last second, and I just kind of didn't even think about it, it just kind of happened. So I think, you know, it's kind of become a second nature for me. What can you guys do to take advantage of a, a true freshman quarterback? You know, versus last week, you played a quarterback that had a lot of college experience. Yeah, um, I think um, you know, just you know. Be aggressive, be who we are, and I think you know the fans play a big part in that too. You know, in the stadium, just making it loud for him. Um, you know, he's a really good quarterback. He played on the road already, had a really good game. So, you know, he he hasn't. It's not like he hasn't done it before, but I think you know just being aggressive and you know our fans being into the game, I think would be a huge deal. Malachi, through five games, where you feel like you guys as a secondary are, what you guys have done to this point, and maybe areas you guys need to improve. Yeah, um, I think. Um, I think the biggest thing is, you know, we could be more aggressive um, in all. I think, you know, when you look at the attack of the ball, loss in the air, or, you know, tackling or whatever the case may be, I think you can always be more aggressive. Um, but I think, uh, you know, we got a very, I say young, but it's not really young. I think it's more new, um, considering the guys that left last year in secondary, just all of us playing together, um, just kind of gelling. I think that's the biggest thing. We found like a gel um, that we mesh very well together. So just really kind of combining those two and just going out there and being who we are. Yeah, how have you guys tried to go about improving as a tackling team? Because I know that's obviously been a concern mm -hmm. you've had so far. Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing is just, you know, during the week, getting a good thoughts in during practice. Um, you know, you have to you have to be able to practice well to play well. And I think that's the biggest thing, just kind of putting more emphasis on it during practice. Um, you know, whether it's getting a good thug, getting a good sideline tackle, whatever the case may be. Um, putting yourself in hard situations so in the game is pretty easy. We have another from Malachi. 
Did Kirby uh, address to you not specifics of Kobe on this uh, situation, but about off-field behavior? Yeah, I um, mean, you know, it's a big thing that we harp on uh, a lot. You know, you know, I'm praying for him. And, you know, I can't really say much about it, but uh, you know, we they talk about it all the time, and we have guest speakers. Um, you know, the guys we have in locker room, I mean, they're amazing. So, um, I think you know, like I said, I'm praying for him, and I wish the best. Anything else, Malika? All right, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Malika. Malika.